Welcome to another episode of What's Going On in Robert's Garage. Got the uh, the radiator uh, mount all fixed up. So, um, got all the fittings glued in last night. Uh, so, they're all solid and they're ready to go. No more leaky. Um, I made a little tray to hold the radiator. It's got the, uh, the non-skid stuff in it. We did the same thing we did in the other video. We uh, used a gr grind a socket, right? Use it for a, a hole puncher. Drill, put the rivets in so they're flush, right? And of course, we got the, the non skiddy stuff on the bottom of the radiator, too. And when that goes in, right? Uh, what we did is we put an extra piece here and then a booster in between to jack everything up between this uh, and this to get it at the right height to clear that return flange in the uh, nose cone. But to do that, you know, we had these quarter-inch rivets, quarter-inch grip range, and then we had some half-inch grip range. And the half-inch was too long. The quarter-inch was too short because we're, we're peening them over, right? We're peening them over like we showed you in that other video. Um, so what you can do is you buy them too long. You buy the half-inch long ones, right? And you can go ahead and knock this, um, knock this pin out. Right, like so, and then you take it to the grinder and you grind it down to the grip range that you want, and then uh, you can take and put the pin back in. But you get the idea, and then you can pop rivet the thing together, and that's what we did. And then we were at the right length to pin them over, so it worked out really well. So um, we get the radiator; everything's everything's fitting right. We're able to um, to put the radiator on the cart. The way we wanted to with the fittings in the back right feet back here um, we're gonna work with this with this air box that we made for testing in October for the old radiator uh, again that radiator is only an, an inch inch and a half this one's two and a quarter whatever so from from where it's mounted and where the other one was mounted everything came forward into the nose right this way so what we're gonna have to do is uh, cut into this radius leave about a half an inch jack this up because this is closer right the that front corner of that radiator is going to be out here so uh, we need to bring what we'll do is we'll cut it up and we'll jack it up and we'll probably cut this off we'll probably cut it off across here because we don't need any of that for this side and, uh, and we'll, we'll doctor this one up to um to get us out there testing lucky i didn't cut that bumper off yet I haven't talked to Ed down there since I gave him the dimensions and everything on the bumper, but he hasn't called. Um, and we haven't got the wiring uh, all put in here yet for the welder. So um, that's it from uh, from the Lawson uh, garage here for now. Um, we're getting the, uh, the cooling part of it straightened out. And um, we're going to get the antifreeze out of this thing and get the head off and do the, uh, the work to the motor we need to get done too. Uh, looking forward to it. Going to be 55 degrees and nothing but sun out there today. So uh, the weather's changing. We're itching. The bug's out. The carton bug's out. We want to get to playing. So um, that's it. Get to church, y'all. Love you. Godspeed.